Hello guys, so it's Stone Channel here. Are you guys doing? Are you guys really great today? So right now we're going to race on the Grand Turismo 2 Ace Packs on the track number nine. It's Cote de Alzo. I don't know what the French spells is. And if you guys new around of my channel, like my content, please make sure you guys to hit the red subscribe button. Don't forget to turn on notification. Just hit the bell icon if you already subscribe to my channel to notify you that you don't want to miss any single my video. Share and like this video. Appreciate it. So, two race to two more race to go. We're going to end this, and this track is pretty long, 15 laps. Uh, this is street circuit, as uh, known as a Monaco on the F1. On this game is a uh, Cote d'Alzo. I don't know the spell which i said is wrong or correctly pronounce it so yep sorry for that we're going to start this need to turn down my volume a bit because it's too noisy for me i think it's almost almost impossible to overtake this circuit on the real life Okay, we got hit so many cars in front and rear. It's very narrow to overtake. Okay, not good. But we try to defend back. Okay, at least we try. Okay, go into second lap. Okay guys, we're going to entering lap number 11. There's a lot of lap cars need to overtake that. So, it's pretty long to race in this track because of the track length for also the lap length is really really tough. Physical demanding to race this track I easily got exhausted for this one because there are lots of fast chicken, slow chicken and also uh, fast long straight here we got another Lap cars need to overtake Hispanos Esperante. Need to save my tires. Okay, going to overtake that Panos Esperante. Oh, it's going to be stopped. So it's fine. The gap is almost one minute because Toyota GT1 got a pit stop. Okay, guys, we're going to enter the final lap, guys. We got the fastest lap recently. And this track, I got some rest that uh, there's a lot of corners, lots of fast chickens. Lots of slow seconds, lots of 
long straights start finish line and also the tunnel this is why i hate on this part of the track so slow if you're into the automatic gearbox when you entering the casino on the hairpin uh, the gear will automatically back to the first gear and that is not good the better way is you have to set on the manual gearbox so if you're a professional just do it like mine Oh, just to understeer. Okay, we're going to pass the checkered flag and we won the race. Yes, we won it. And we got another 10 points. It's good for us. And yep, the gap is 1 minute 20 seconds. That's pretty huge gap. We got a uh, 35,000 credits. Very good one. Go to the next race. Okay, this is the final race of Grand Valley Speedway Reverse Mode. It's a dust on the cloud on the time as well. We automatically won the championship but we're going to compete to get some money. The AI are really aggressive, so got easily get knocked out if we didn't break perfectly and accelerate more efficiently. And I had no grip at all. Okay, just run the outside and got overtake back by oh just knock outside the track it is also a physical demanding track lots of long straights slow chicane fast chicanes got knocked on the, my rear body work on the outside and just too wide okay we got our position back it's not safe yet still on the early lap Go to the second lap. Second lap is on the way right now. Okay, we're going to overtake the lap cars. So many lap cars on this lap. One is Jaguar XJ220. Okay. Just very very aggressive move to overlap that car. There's okay, some next car. Let's make to shorter gap.
or it's going to pit stop so it doesn't count but still it's overlap car okay guys we're going to entering the final lap whoa I'm very sweaty right now this track is so much uh, powerful physical demanding it's very long circuit I believe the gap is 1 minute 3 seconds that's a very huge gap Okay, going over the bridge after that we are going inside the tunnel there's a long left hander and long right hander this is the most trickiest part of the chicane this also this very technical part of the, the track my front tire starting to lose more grip so I cannot uh, book my uh, faster slap record so at least we going to win the race and also win the championship we need to wait until we pass the last corner went to the long straight we're going to pass checkered flag and we officially win the race and also win the championship guys yep it's a honor to win the Gran Turismo World Championship in professional league so we collected the points over 66 points and uh, 96 I'm sorry 96 points I just too excited so I forgot something and we won officially the championship as well using this such a old school co race car we got 250 thousand price credits need to see which car will I get it we got 4 GT40 mm. thing is I going I'm gonna use on certain race conditions and that is at the end of this video guys thank you guys for watching if you guys like my contents and you guys new around on my channel, please make sure you guys to hit the red subscribe button. Don't forget to turn on notification, just hit the bell icon if you're subscribed to my channel to notify you that you don't want to miss any single one's a video. Share and like this video more. Share. Don't forget to follow my Twitter account and like my Facebook fan page. I will leave both links in this video description down below. Make sure you guys to check them out. And I upload my video every Friday to Monday 7 a.m. Pacific time. So I wish you guys next video on Friday. See you soon, but for now, stay tuned.